G'day and welcome back to Rantro Game Crunch, where we are dipping into the game collection Retro Game Crunch. Today, we're moving on to the next game in the collection, Wub Wub Wesku, which appears to involve a bunch of pugs. Uh, I have absolutely, again, I have no idea what this is, mostly because I've been deliberately avoiding doing too much research. I have, since the uh, previous episode, actually done a little bit of research, so to give you a, ba a bit more backstory, uh, Super Clue Land came out of a Ludum Dare, and then this team decided to kickstart a project which was six games in six months. So these other games have had a little bit more development time, I guess, uh, so we'll see how it all goes. Let's go. Firstly, the controls. Looks like this is a game with fairly simple controls. There's pause, jump, sing, and movement. Sure. Let's go. Okay, here we go. So we're trying to rescue our master. So this is just a platformer. But we are playing a pug. This has really slow controls, like the pug moves super slow. Singing is barking. Oh no! They took the uh, owner. What jerks! No! Oh! There's full damage. Perfect. Alright, I'm like already pretty unhappy with this game. Um, in that, yes, you're playing a cute pug, but on the other hand, you're playing a character. Like, you move really slowly, you jump really slowly, you make a mistake, you die. Uh, you can't jump very high, you can't. I mean, you're a pug, you're, you know. Not exactly the best of animals for this. Uh, so let's see how we do. Right, so it shoots two arrows. And we get to the master and they always take him away. Seems like a really simple premise. I have no idea what we want to do. I guess this is where the singing comes into play. Okay, we've got one record. Ah! <sighs> All right, so what we do is we get the song from up here and then we can use it. And it slows everything down. Oh, seriously, this is... I do not anticipate this being a very long episode. I will probably... I, I don't expect this to take... It to take long for this to... pass my threshold for things I don't want to deal with. Okay, there we go. I hope that it gets better. Or that it isn't very long. I guess we just... Nope, we can't do that. Really. I... I wow. Well, seriously? you got no air control, right? So it's whatever you... And if, if you hit the arrow head, it's where you take the damage. The controls are terrible. The concept is slightly amusing. But you you get hit by anything and you die. And while I was really positive about the previous ones, this is really just toilets so far. Ooh. 
What? I only get to use it once? Oh! Fuck. Fine! This may be incredibly short. Because it is... It's not a cute concept which is really, you know, resonating with me. Which is what you would need to get past terrible controls. Instead, it is... It controls badly. It's annoying. You make one mistake, you go right back to the start. There's a cute little death music, which means that you don't even go right back to the start really quickly. I guess it's not that long, but it's long enough when I'm already irritated by the death itself. And, like, knowing that I have to take full advantage of it means that I can't do this in stages. Ugh. Seriously? For real. You deserve to die at this point. Pugsley. Oh, that's, that's so really, ah. Uh. I'm not even talking in complete sentences because this is just bad. I can see what I'm meant to do. I have to do everything else first. I just really am sick of it. Wow, that just ticked me off so quickly. It's amazing. Act two. Like, hopefully this is just not very long? I'm gonna assume I can't do anything about the snake. And the trick here... Ow! Oh, mistimed that. That's totally my bad. What? How long does it... Even with the song, that doesn't last any time at all. Ah! I wasn't apparently pressing forward when I frickin' jumped. So it just jumped straight up and you don't have enough time! So we've got a time, like, I have to be in the air when that goes. Ah. Oh. This is pushing all of the wrong buttons for me. I don't have a great sense of rhythm. So it's not, so something that is reliant on it to, oh, of course, because there's fall damage. That's right. I'd forgotten that, about that lovely aspect of this. So you have to carefully and slowly go down those ladders. Ah! Oh. I am so annoyed by Wub Wub Wesku, and I guess I should have gotten from the name. Oh right, yes, I didn't actually sing. And realizing that, yeah, the beat is really important is helping a little bit, I guess. I need to remember to go back.
but oh these controls they are not tight oh come on oh <laughs> seriously So I guess this is kind of a rhythm-based puzzle game or something. I don't know how I would describe this other than bad. Ah. Okay. So I guess the song I get here deals with snakes because it's green and the reason for the one-shot use of individual songs is because um, there are different songs that take that slot. And by get rid of send them to sleep, sure. Okay. Sure. We can do this. Okay. Need to make sure I'm holding the movement button when I, uh, Press the jump key. Like you can't press the jump key, then push the movement button. And if you're, uh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Especially if you're gonna make things appear briefly and then rely on things that slow everything down, you should. Really make sure your controls are more responsive and give me a little bit of air control. I realize it's not realistic, but you've done it in other games that you've made and it would make it so much less frustrating. I just need to basically press, start pressing jump again once I make that initial jump. This is like spoiler alert. Oh, wow. I missed my initial jump. And then I don't have, like, I either need to just abandon the attempt and go and get the frickin' song again. Or abandon the whole game. It says Act 2. I assume that there's only three acts. So maybe it's worth trying to keep pushing on. I probably would have abandoned this game if I weren't recording right now. It's not been fun times. Okay. Of course. Oh wait. No, I'm dead. These are amazingly slow moving arrows, but we've got not exactly the fast moving fastest of moving dogs. So we can grab the snake charmer song. Ah. Oh, you're kidding me. So I can't sing on the ladder, so I have to sing here. Oh, I don't have the song. Somehow. 
fine. Whatever. Well, fine, whatever. Make me just stand still right at the start of the level. That's great. It's really good. Just what I wanted to see. Oh. And yeah, kill me if I jump. Perfect. Just the kinds of things I want in my games. Really stupid arbitrary difficulties. Oh, perfect. Perfect. I'm getting so many dogs killed today. Wonderful. Oh, that was my bad. I was too eager to go. Too eager to get something done. This game better be really short. Uh-huh. Yeah, because now I can just bypass those initial snakes. I didn't get the song. Fantastic. There we go. Now we go. Let's go rescue him. Really hoping this is a three act. With bats, apparently. Oh! Oh! Perfect. I was... Ah, I needed to... You have to bark on the ground. Oh, it just does that. Okay. So I wasn't triggering the second one. Ah, oh, yeah, this is what this game really needed. Oh, right, obviously. Obviously, this is... Oh. Why? 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 Why do you hate me so? Yeah, I, I don't know how to get him to move again. Once I do that. But it looks like as soon as I come close... Oh! Fine! Oh, that was great, yeah. It just hadn't registered that I wanted to move forward, so... <laughs> Can you tell I am not having a great time? And now I've got to go from the start again. Maybe I should just show the one the one good attempt at each level. <laughs> I'm tempted to do two cuts of this as a result. One with no context for how angry I'm getting. Just show the one good attempt. I'm one of the full. Oh! It was a brief la a bit of lag there, actually. So... Oh well. 
Ah. This game would be marginally better without fall damage. <laughs> And there we go. That one's done. Interesting. I guess because you can jump onto this. Okay. So this is the anti-bat thing. I wonder what it actually does. Uh huh. Let's use bats as lifts. Okay, I don't know how this will help me necessarily. I think I can figure it out. If I do this, sing. Nope, missed. And then you can give me a lift. And then we go over here. Head down the lift. And they return back to their initial points. But Okay. Now we've got our song box. Well, I can just jump onto that ladder. That's true. Well thought of me. So I think I actually want to jump onto the bat, which requires jumping now. Thank you. There's no faster way down this lift. In fact, there's no way off a ladder that I've seen. Yep, none. There's, you can get onto a ladder halfway, but you can't get off a ladder. Okay, let's try something first. Why did I do that? Oh. Such a scrub. Thank you for the lift, Charmed Bat. So we can try something. What we're specifically going to try here is what happens if you are above a bat when you play that song. 
Worst case scenario, everything is ruined. It's fine. Because that happens like half of the time with this game anyway. Okay, cool. It does just operate as a lift. And I don't need to jump onto a bat. That makes sense as to why that platform's there. Okie dokie. Oh, that's where I am. Never mind. Oh, perfect. Because that's what I really needed. And then we've got the uh, bat lift. Gotcha. I see where this is going. Perfect. Be so good if that actually worked. It feels so good. Because you know what this game needs? something about it to feel good rather than that happening I'm gonna keep going to the end of act three. Oh right I needed to actually sing we're gonna keep going to the end of act three it's totally fine if you've tuned out. Statistically, most viewers have. But, we're going on this journey. That's right, it still fires arrows. That's right, the jump controls are a little bit terrible. That's right, my timing is also pretty bad. Got the song. Bat music. Alrighty. All I have to do is not screw up these jumps. Nope, there are four acts. So there are at least four acts. This one adds monkeys. So I hope you have enjoyed watching me get angrier and angrier. Uh, I'm pretty sure that Wob Wob is never going to rescue his master because I am not going to play this game again. That's, that's just, this game is not for me. Maybe for someone else, but everything about it irritates me. Well, I don't know. Okay, the aesthetic is kind of cute. The little pug trying to do stuff is kind of cute, but the gameplay is terrible, and I don't like it. Uh, so, I hope you enjoyed watching. Uh... I will experiment with producing two versions of this video. One with the uh, just just the successful runs. It will be much shorter. And one with all of the frustration. So you can experience it with me. And we will see what people think. <laughs>